hello guys welcome back to the tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix riders republic which released on steam is having crashing issue it is not launching freezing and stuttering black screen low fps drop stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about if you are over here in the game the first thing you need to start with is simple restart sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so just go over here and go with a simple restart so once the restart is successfully done just try launch the game that might work work or else we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we just need to go over here in the game select the respective game right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing we will be having these kind of trouble like uh, you know crashing and all those things so it is quite important for us to cross check ourselves and make sure that we are not going through any kind of server issue any kind of these kind of issues so it is quite important for us to check whether the files are corrupted or missing if that is the case we just need to go over here and do the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check all the files of the game so this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 27 gb so that's going to take a little bit of time so what happens is this will be cross checking every single files from their end and they will be looking out whether it's going through any kind of corruptions or they're going through any kind of missing files if that is the case they will be fixing from their end so once this is successfully done just launch the game afterwards and try launch the game that's going to work for you as well this is an important step and should not be uh, you know you should not be neglecting this step the ones after done with this just try to launch the game next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder most of us launch the game from steam which might be an issue so if that is the case we need to launch the game from steam itself most probably we depend on this but for some users when they changed this and they launched the game from the installation folder this did work out for them so over here in the riders republic right click over here and go to properties now from here go to local file now go to browse which redirect us to this now from here if you look at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam apps common riders republic now just go over here in the application launch the game from here instead of launching the game from steam launch the game from the application this did work out for many users once you're done with this one if the issue is still persisting then you can step you can try out one more step that is code launching the game as and running it as an administrator for that just go over here in the same installation folder right click and go to show more options properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay now once you run the game as an administrator most probably the issue has to be fixed and this did work out as i received the source i found this particular stuff from the reddit for many users this did work out and you can try this out as well next one parallelly i would like to add one more step that is running the game in compatibility mode did work out for few users so you can try this out as well so just right click and go to show more option once again properties compatibility now go over here and in the compatibility mode click on run this program in compatibility mode change this first one it is in windows 7 set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for okay if that is not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for okay and try launch the game so any one of the steps should be working so either run in this program as an administrator should work in most cases if it is not working you can try the compatibility mode as well but keep in mind If your both the steps are not working and you're proceeding to the next step I request you can undo this uncheck this and only keep run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and try launch the game next step is all about we need to make sure the language of windows which we are using is english so some users had the error so some users might be using windows in native language if that you can set the language to english for that just go over here in the search go to settings Now go to time and language go to language and region from here we need to select the first one is go for add language search for language if the language is english you can set for language 
Now set the language to English once after that try launch the game. Next one is all about parallelly make sure one more step that is all about you can make sure the date time time zone is correct for that just go over here make sure the time time zone and is it it is all working good so just you need to set this up once you set this up you just need to close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button and we need to press alt and tab from the keyboard so this did work for many users so you can try this out i found this particular step from the forum itself so just launch the game but moment you are launching the game press alt and tab from the keyboard once after that most probably you can see next one is all about you can try with deleting the saved game game file for that we just need to go over here in the file doc over here go to documents over here and if you find any folder named riders republic you just need to delete the folder you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine delete it once after that just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to sorry this is not the way just close this go back go to control panel now from here go to network and internet now go to network and sharing center internet options not that we just need to go back uh, okay system and security just go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall search for the folder here so hence it is an alphabet if you scroll down to r you will be able to find it so riders republic is over here so you will be able to find the game riders republic so if the game is not there we can add it by default for that just click on change setting go for allo another app click on the browse go to local disk c sorry this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to riders republic select the application go for open and go for add once it is added successfully just you can see the riders republic is added make sure the public and private both should be enabled so you have to enable both once you enable both just close this and go back and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to try with unplug all the usb devices especially for these kind of games you might be already connected to the joystick or any other peripherals or you might be playing the game in multiple monitors if that is the case just remove everything from the usb port you need to remove everything from the usb port once you remove everything from the usb port launch the game and that's going to work for you so launch the game afterwards and that is going to work for you as well so uh, most probably if you wanted to play still play the game with the controllers after game is successfully launched just back the just connect the controller back and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well Next one is all about we need to try with performing a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for uh, system configuration go for services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay so when you go for disable all and apply and okay you might be getting a message like this it might ask you for restart so if uh, you should be going through restart but here we are in the middle of video so i'm going to go for exit without a restart once the game is restarted successfully just launch the game afterwards we have to try with the next one that is you need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here in the game right click and go to properties make sure this is uncheck so if this is selected you have to uncheck this and once after that try launch the game if that is still not working we need to move to the next step that we need to group the commands in the launch option the first command is dx11 go with dx11 and launch the game if dx11 is not working change the command to dx12 and try launch the game so try with either with dx11 or try with dx12 any one of the thing has to be worked so once you try with this give the commands and launch it and that's going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to try with closing all the overlay applications so as you can see we might be running many things in the background so you can check it so just go over here in the task manager right click and go to task manager 
but this will not be same the case for those who are watching this you know as you can see i'm only using chrome and the screen recorder and the steam but for every other users you know there will be tons of apps just running in the background which all these things are actually affecting uh, affecting us and which is causing the issue such as crashing and all those things so if you find anything for example unwanted things like overlay as well as overclocking application which is called discord and anything we just need to remove it you need to end the task for it and once after that try launching the game that's that did work out for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just go over here in the search go to graphics settings now from here you can see i have already added few games same way we need to add to a little bit of games so just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here we just need to click on riders republic now we need to select this one go for add once you add it just click on the option change this to high performance so set this to high performance and go for save and you need to close this so go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory so for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go to advanced settings once again go for advanced once again go for change you should not be selecting this one if you select this one you'll, you'll be uh, not be able to select this so un undo this select the local disk where the game is installed go over here in the custom size go for initial size and go for maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so go over here we need a calculator go to the calculator multiply the ram that is 32 gb is my ram just multiply your ram with a constant value 1024 multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it we need to calculate one more that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that is multiplied into 3 that brings you 98304 so just copy this as well paste it and once you set this up just close everything and see whether the issue is solved most probably the increasing virtual memory is an, a uh, working solution to many other games and it did work it for this as well so you can try this out next one is all about we need to update the windows for that we just need to go over here in the search we need to go over here in the settings go to windows update just update the windows and make sure if you're having any updates like cumulative update etc just update the windows once after that try launch the game these kind of games and that's going to work for you as well there is one more step which i left that is we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description both nvidia as well as for the amd so if you're on the nvidia just go to this link and select the details like geoforce product series we can select product operating system if it's on windows 11 selected go for start search now you'll be getting the latest rolled out versions that is 535.98 which is released on may 13 2023 so you just need to download this one and install this on your pc do a restart if you're on the amd same way graphics select the details over here go for submit now from here you will be getting two options if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and install this on your pc and try launch the game last and the least one is all about we can try with this one that is called uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back for that just go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game and reinstall it back while reinstall it back you should be aware of one thing you should not be installing the game back on same local disk which is already dead so if the game is already in local disk C and you're reinstalling it back on C is not going to work, change the position of local disk and that's going to work for you as well. So these are the workaround which you can try out when you're having an issue with the Riders Republic. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.